Hey everyone, I've got two testimonies real quick about the love of Jesus. The first testimony is we had a man that had been on blood uh, pressure medication for 20 years. That's right, you heard that. 20 years uh, this man had been on blood pressure because of anxiety and the Lord healed him this month. He's been four weeks without needing to take blood pressure medicine. So praise Jesus. He loves to heal today. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if you need healing, the answer is yes, Jesus is ready and willing to heal. Now we've been talking the last few weeks about just how much the love of Jesus is important to fuel us and to do things in our life. Uh, that will sustain. And so Jesus wants to, for you and I to know how much we're loved. And so I want to talk about sleep. For almost three years, I was averaging about two to three hours of sleep and was waking up with fever. And there was just some things that Jesus had to heal. And before Jesus heals something in our life, we have to know that we're sick. I think about the self-righteous uh, Pharisees. They said nothing was wrong with them. And the truth is, is that there was a lot wrong with them and they needed a physician. And Jesus is the physician. And so I just encourage you, I had been three years of lack of sleep and then I began to meditate on the love of Jesus for myself. And those symptoms, this was about 10, 12 years ago, those symptoms have never returned. I get plenty of sleep. And so I was thinking about the scripture. I wanted to share it with you. Uh, if you are struggling with sleep, this scripture is for you. God cares about you and wants you to have sleep. And the, and the psalmist is writing in Psalm, let me grab the scripture, Psalm 127, and it's verse 2, and it's talking in the context about just working and being anxious and this person that needed sleep, it says it's vain for you to rise er up early or to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows. So there's anxiety, the eat the bread of anxiety. So they're not trusting the Lord. The context is, not, is about not building their house upon the Lord, not seeing him as the provider. And this next verse says, for he gives his beloved sleep. Now, if you're watching this and you need sleep, I need you to understand that his love does not change. So if you think, well, he just doesn't love me, so I'm not getting sleep. That's not the truth. He loves you, and James said it this way, I pray that you prosper as your soul prospers. When I was lacking sleep, I was going through a season where I was averaging two to three hours of sleep, I didn't understand how much I was loved. And I thought my circumstances or my, um, you know, my, my behavior impacted how much I was loved. And the truth is, is that we have to, as Christians, base the love of Jesus Christ upon the cross. I love that Easter's coming up. I love that we recognize the, the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ because it reminds us, but this is not just once a year, this is all the time that we need to be reminded of how much we're loved. We can't base the gospel upon our circumstances. We cannot base the gospel upon what's going on in our life. The gospel and the love of Jesus is based upon the cross. And so as Christians, the old is gone and the new has come. Behold, I make all things new. Well, guess what? You and I are new in Christ Jesus. And so the love of Jesus is, again, based on how much he did for us on the cross. If God does nothing else for you, know how much you're loved. So in scripture, you have a promise that his beloved, he gives his beloved sleep. If you're struggling with sleep, I'm telling you the answer right now is to know how much you're loved by Jesus. Meditate on how much he has done for you on the cross. Don't look at your circumstances. Don't look at what's going on around you because that's what they did in Psalms is they were basic on, or they were basing their life upon anxiety. They were eating bread of anxiety. Well, guess what? Jesus is the bread of life. You can have life, life more abundantly. He desires for you to have sleep. I know there's some great songs out there uh, that you can listen to that remind you that you're loved by Jesus. And there's an anointing on those songs to remind you that you're loved. So listen to 
scripture, the word of Christ that brings faith. That's it. That's all I got for you. I want to encourage you. God wants you to have sleep. He wants you to be, he wants you to know how much you're loved. Have a great day.